Yeah, Rap Radar Podcast, Elliot Wilson. This is B-Dot. B-Dot, what's up, baby? I'm feeling great, man. Because this guy's over here, man. After six years, K- Abso? KRS2? KRS2. <laughs> Three Pac. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, sir. No, I got to have a new one. Yes, sir. Oh, it's been a long time. So where you been, man? <laughs> oh, man. The hell and back to heaven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, working. Always working, man. It's been a, it's been a journey. Yeah, I had the pleasure to come by the studio. Top told me to come by. You yeah, played me the album, man. Yeah. We, I think when we put a photo up, and then that's people like, "Oh, yeah. the album's real! Like the album's really, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's you really gotta gonna go. happen." It's funny because you uh, you leaked the title first. Oh wow, Elliot! I did, and I I thought I thought uh, I thought we like we might have got in trouble, but it was beautiful. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. only yeah, you, I, only you can do I that. I didn't know I leaked the title for real. I didn't you know, know we, that. We, we would have got the call from a. What the what what the oh. <laughs> <laughs> get top on the phone? You know get Elliot on the phone? Yeah, no, that's what top gets you on the phone. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I didn't want that. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't want that no, smoke, man. No, it would have just been us. You would have been green all the time. You're nah, good. man. But Herbert, man, you you promised me a deeply personal album, and then like yeah, yeah. with the title alone, like you know, explain the significance of yeah. what it means to call the album Herbert, and why is it so personal? This this body of work. I put it to you like this: uh, be like, imagine like this is probably like 2000. 18, right? Mm-hmm. I'm riding with the big homie. I And I had, you know, I took like a year off uh, after my last album. You know, I kind of just wanted to reset, mm-hmm. you know, try to, you know, create some contrast between my last one. My last one was a bit, you know, was a bit uh, heavy. Yeah. Like heavy on the ears. Uh, still classic to me, but mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> for the record. Um, I'm riding with the big homie, right? You know, imagine like, you know, it's like some some new, like, uh, who was it like? Uh, uh, e- ESTG. Mm-hmm. No, yes, you know. <laughs> he look at me, turn the music down. Like, bro. Like, why you like? You know, it seemed like, bro. Like, when you be rapping, like you always like playing like a character, bro. Like you, like you, Batman or something. Like you, you YMF, you black lip pastor, and <laughs> like, cuz like. You from the hood, bro. Like, why you can't just talk about that stuff? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like my big homie, like, and you know I'm the, you know I'm the third eye guy, you know, amongst other things, you know. And, and it shit just really struck me, like, I feel that it, it it hit me, like, damn, maybe he's right, like, and, and but that that was that's always been my thing to just, uh, you know, to try to have distinction. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm from LA. I'm, I'm, I'm from gang culture. I'm from, you know, hood shit, ghetto shit. That's, that's kind of, I'm not saying that's all we're known for, you know what I'm saying? But I'm from that. I wanted to take a different approach. You know what I'm saying? Like standing, like sitting next to like J-Rock, like, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like really like, you know, not just, you know, y'all know what I mean. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. You know, so for me to just like, you know, yeah, you know, just be that, play that role. I was like, nah, I need to, I need to be a wild card here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to be like, you know, I need to differentiate. I need to be a, you know, have some distinction. So, you know, I like my friend, like my real homies, Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? They like, I'm not in their playlist. Mm. You know what I'm saying? My 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 real friend, like they don't listen to my music. Does that bother you? No. Mm. But when he said that to me, then mm. it just kind of hit me because you got to understand it's not. They all know I'm ill. Right. They all mm-hmm. know I'm. The, so you got bars. Yeah. They all know I'm the best rapper alive. I mean, that's, <laughs> that goes without saying. Like <laughs> bars and all of that. They've been to the shows. They see the. Effect. Yeah, yeah. I represent the hood where I, you know. I mean, I I, sure. I do that, but I tried. I've tried so hard. I've created these like unwritten rules yeah. for myself mm-hmm. to just just to have the distinction. Yeah, and they respect that. But when he hit me with that, it just kind of just, and then he just turned the music back up. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not a big deal. Like, gotcha. It's, it's the soul. He he know he know what he's doing. But yeah. this is my big. You know, like really one of my. My big homies and it should just really struck, should like struck me, hit me like a ton of bricks, and I'm like, man. So that when I got back into recording, I just really, you know, I tried to strip away all of these rules that I set for myself about you know what I can or cannot say and this and that and playing a character. 
Yeah. Yeah. So Herbert, I had to, this, uh, this album is for everybody that r- will never call me Abso. Mm. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm Herb, I'm, I'm Herbie, I'm Lil Herb or you know, what, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Herbert Anthony. Yeah. yeah. On the title track, you said they never understand Herbert Anthony. Yeah. Who is yeah. he? <laughs> well, I got enough time right there either. <laughs> what, is it, what does it say? It says, don't understand me on your tattoo. What, look, what, look, look close. What, what's that? What's at the top? It says, I, is it I right there? Yeah. I tattoo. So I don't it. understand me. Uh, wow. You feel me? Yeah. So, you know, tis the question. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm also they because I'm a character. Right. That was that was Herbert talking to Ab Soul, if you were. <laughs> I keep rapping, goddamn, I can't stop. Right. But you know. Shout out to James Blake, man. Shout out to uh Mr. Morale. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Blessing me. Um Um I had a lot of I had a lot of lot of great, great some geniuses help me out with this, like mm-hmm. on on every in in every corner of it. Like, you know, uh yeah. the production, the the you know, I brought in the musicians. Like I saw was, back in twenty twenty, yeah. uh, you said on Twitter that you were holding Soundwave fully responsible for what's yeah. to come. Yeah, talk about his role on the project. All right, so I mean, you know, once again, I just let I just really like to point out Soundwave was the first producer I ever worked with. I just I just remembered to, I was telling Matt the other day, I was there when Soundwave. You know, he was making beats on his PlayStation MTV. You <laughs> wow. know. Wow. I was there the night he got his first MP, mm-hmm. like his MPC. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, we were kids then, obviously, but Soundwave is the one who bought me to TD, introduced me to Punch, mm-hmm. and there, and, and you know, it's been history since yeah, then, right? Sure. So, I I always, you know, sound amongst the whole team, of course. You know, I got to consult with the whole team. You know, mm-hmm. we're you, you know we're a united front. <laughs> <laughs> I always consult with Wave, you know, in, in during you know during the whole creative process, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like, but my last couple albums, I've been kind of straying away, and you know, uh, created a bit of arrogance. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? To so where Wave would be like, eh. I'd be like, nah, bro, you're not outside like that. I think you should, you're not really out. You're not really out. In the, you're not really out here like that way. Like I started arguing. I, you know, this 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 time, I, I went back home. I didn't I didn't argue with him. You know, I you know, mm. help me wave. Mm. Grammy. This is a Grammy award winning guy that, that mm-hmm. started on this. You know what I'm saying? Was mocking Timberland. Like, help me, Wave. Like, what do I? I, I, I played. I played him what I had. You know, because like I told you, remember I was going to drop it in 2020. Right. Mm-hmm. Gift and the curse. Obviously, a terrible time for all of us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, condolences to, you know, everybody that you know took took losses in that time. We all went through a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, but. And in that, it gave me more time to create. Yeah. And so I immediately went to Wave, and I was like, "This is what I got. What you think? It's cool." <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta know that's the home. That's us too. You know, the homies. We don't anything. We don't. We don't. Um, we don't gas each other at all. Keep it modest. Keep yeah. it. You know, yeah, to keep yeah. us all on the ground, even if it's incredible. Mm-hmm. That's hard. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you get, if you, get it, you get it that's hard, that mean that mean you did what you're supposed to do. You know right. what I'm saying? So that's, but he, so that, but that's he cool, said, that's cool means it's not there yet. That cool is like, oh yeah. All right, so what I gotta do? Mm. Yeah. Bro, like, you know, we just we gotta we gotta we gotta bring in some production, man. We gotta bring in the guys, man. You know, and from there, um and and mind you, like, you know, Wave is not completely responsible, man. Like Shout out to everybody that was in there with yeah. me in the trenches. My boy Cal Banks, you know, who, who bought the kids, uh, Super Miles, uh, um, Super Miles. Um, who else did I work with on there? I work, I work with, I work, I don't want to miss anybody. It's early. I'm rusty, guys. <laughs> no, <laughs> but even for the years. intro, like message in the bottle, like the power yeah. of that sound, it's three different right. parts in it, right? Like, yeah, and you that, talk about that intro and like, it's, it's so urgency right. to that. Right. And it, you know, that's one of the, that is one of the earlier records that, that I made. Like, mm. that's probably, I, I probably made that in like 2018. Oh wow! That first sec, like the first part. That first part, yep. yeah, with, yeah, with, which was which was crazy. That's the kid super miles, yeah. And I told you also, you know, I went into this no concept this time, like you know, yeah. 
no, you know, I come in with the the science projects, you know, like <laughs> I, I got to have a, a hypothesis and, you know, and treating everything like it's a, you know, like it's a, a goddamn midterm or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just went in, I just made songs straight from the heart, as pure as possible, you know, vulnerable, mm -hmm. you know, what have you. Right. And that and third verse on Message Bottle, you sound a little fed up though. You sound a little. Now that is one of the, <laughs> one of the last things that I did for oh, wow. the album. Uh, no, no lie. Um, Cole, Cole told me I needed to keep going. I played the album for Cole. J. Cole. Early. And he, he heard that and was this is crazy. Like he almost kind of wanted to, uh, uh, produce it like you need to keep it going like you know what i'm yeah. saying like yeah shout out to cohen he's he's he he that boy that boy loves rap that, that, that boy, <laughs> he loves hip-hop but uh yeah he 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 uh kind of gave me the idea to keep it going like it's been so long like two verses wasn't enough yeah and like you know here i caught top like we had we had the mic running and top was in there and see yeah so that's hard man. but you got you know you got see i caught that briefly in the transition mm-hmm Am I am I the first one to have Top featured on the album? You you might. Have you ever heard Top? I don't think I have. Have you ever heard Top? Mm. Nah. Ah, I, I never heard. You also ha, have your ha, grandma. Ha. She made the cut too. Shout out to shout out to my 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 grandma. I mm. love how she sets the tone with uh sets the tone with uh, the scripture on Mark eight exactly. thirty six. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, God bless my grandma. Still still alive and well. Still kicking. Did you play for her yet? Um, not the album. Okay. Yeah. And and I um <laughs> I told her to make sure she don't tell nobody it's a secret, it's a secret for my family, you know oh, what I'm okay. saying? Like my grandma's on there. Did you ask her to do that for you? Yeah, she but she uh, you know, she she hit me with that and that gave me the idea. She hit me with that really, mm -hmm. and that gave me the idea because you see how it sounds like perfect. It yeah. sets the tone. Yeah. yeah, but like I wish I would have got the natural conversation. Mm. But like I had to have her give me that, like, you know, so I, you know, we scripted it out so she okay. could write it. And my grandma's like a, yeah. I don't know if you, she's like a Toastmaster. She's very like critical as far as oratorically. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's kind of where I get it from too. You know, she had me, you know, speaking in, you know, in church and I think I won like, you know, like I said, you know, I grew up in the church, yeah. uh, church conventions, like, mm -hmm. I won like a, a oratorical uh, something competition, like you know, oh, wow. just always speaking in yeah, front of people, speaking. public speaking, right. yeah, exactly, uh, plays mm -hmm. and that type of stuff. It was very important. But um, even at the end of the song, you got mm -hmm. Joe Button on there. Oh yeah, <laughs> <Did> Button <laughs> Rory and Mall. They got the Button yeah. Rory and Mall. <laughs> they call, yeah, they're oh, the old original, school, oh, the old school. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to Rory and Mall too, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, you, you know, Joe's, you know, Joe's still really one of my favorite rappers ever. I'm gonna mm. keep telling him that, like. Mm -hmm. Literally, Joe is probably still in my top ten. Does he know that he's on there? I tell him that all the time. No, yeah, he, well, he just found out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got emotional, like oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> got emotional here. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, that's dope. But yeah, but we caught that. Yeah. I, I remember that early, and we, we, I had, I had it. I recorded that, and I knew I wanted to use it for something. Yeah, and uh, that that was just. That was the perfect place. And it's for talking it. about how TD, the, the caliber of artists they've signed, but correct. You you haven't really gone mainstream or something. In this aspect of it, they were saying, right? The industry may not recognize you correct. as much as your right. peers yeah. in that sense, right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the underground emperor. <laughs> yeah. you know but you know what's funny when I hear got to do to UGK. when yeah, I hear got to do right. better over and over, like yeah. that's every ingredient of what they would say is like the big single, right? Like the great. The great chorus, the you know, like the powerful video, like yeah. all these all these substances yeah. that's like on yeah. the surface you say, Well, any artist, you know, can get that. Like to me, somebody that may not even be aware of you could fall in love with you off that song. It's yeah. a great record. Did you realize cognizant wise that you were making that level of a record? No. Mm -hmm. And that that's how the greatest records, my most of my most uh, effective records, like numbers wise, if we're gonna say, happen so naturally. Like that was one of the after I hit Wave, he was like, you know, he started bringing me records, like not, you know, not just his beats, but you know, mm -hmm. you know, our, all our guys, you know, and like I kind of just, I even did that arrogantly, like, yeah, Wave, yeah, watch what I do, all right, mm -hmm. I'm just cool, huh? I was just cool, all right, yeah, watch what I do with this, you know what I'm saying? But you know, obviously, the tone of the record is a beautiful record. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it, it created that vibe for me, and it was yeah. just natural, like. And so I'm, uh, 
very, very grateful for how, how it turned out. I'm glad how it was received in that way. And like, I'm learning, I'm learning how, how deep it is like every every day somebody mm-hmm. is telling me like what it means to them yeah yeah when i had my you know it's just got to do better like I, it's just conversation with myself like mm. just tell looking looking the man in the mirror and, and you know yeah telling myself to be better but be, being better is subjective it doesn't mm-hmm. it doesn't mean do more mm-hmm. it can mean do less mm. it can mean you know uh it, it can mean a lot of things from a lot of scope because and i and i wanted to point that out because when you watch it with the visuals, yeah. it kind of it's it kind of creates this, you know. A lot of people, you know, made me cry. I'm tearing, you know. It, it created that I mm-hmm. think with the visual, but it's not it's not a sad song. Mm-hmm. It's it should empower you, should motivate you, mm-hmm. and it's nothing and there's nothing wrong with crying either. Mm-hmm. Crying is cathartic. It's it's good for you, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but I want to make sure that everybody knows it's not a sad song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the visual, you know, I powerful, it, powerful visual. You took it there. You did your own stunts I, on it. <laughs> Got the harness on. You're a braver man than me, brother. You're a braver man than me with that, man. <laughs> yeah, the visual is definitely powerful. That was fun. I was like, I was like, uh, like bungeeing at the, uh, you know, like at the amusement parks or something. That was fun. Man. Did you come we, up we with that real, We had real like. Stunt guys on the on the set, you know, that work with Tom Cruise and oh, shit. Wow. Like they it was, were ready to go. And yeah, you're they like, made I me got feel. This. They made me feel extra safe. Like it oh, okay. was. It was very. It was very cool. Did you come up with the concept for the video? I did not. Oh wow. Um, I, I have to give that to my boy Musa, who mm. uh, encouraged me to share my story. Uh, my man Omar, obviously, he, he said he, had, he he got a staff a staff pick for that video. His first staff pick. Mm, I, mm. I, I I wasn't aware of what how important that was. Wow. Uh, that was a goal of his, so uh, congratulations to him, and uh, thank him for you know bringing that to life for me. You know, yeah, because it, it almost reminded me of, like the Jay Z ninety nine problems visual with that n- that noir kind of yeah, black and white word. cinematography. Word, word, it was really dope. Word. Even though you say it's not a sad song, it feels like it be like that. Almost f- serves as a companion track to that record. Ah. Uh. Yeah, and that and that was one of the first records that I made. Mm. Also, like that's one of the earlier records. What what I like most about it be like that is, <laughs> you know, that was one of the most difficult songs for me to write. Really, I mm. said I I uh, uh, Tay Beast did the beat, but uh, Dot sent me that record early. Mm. Dot, you know, he always like s- sending me records. He think you know he's he's that kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Like you know, I was like, man, you know what? Like, I want to do this. I don't want. I don't want one punchline in this. I don't want one metaphor. Mm. I don't want no bars on this song. I just want to. I just want to write it, and it be as clear as day, mm-hmm. as easy as possible. It was so difficult for me. <laughs> really, wow. <laughs> and that, that taught me a lot about myself. Like, and it, it made me. Uh, for me, it's more difficult to be simple than it is to be complex. As mm. a lot of apartments, <laughs> I would uh, turn me up. Yeah. Like, and that's real. I am an interesting individual. Like I have to, when I'm writing music, it's kind of like a thing for me to have to have a metaphor or punchline of some sort. Okay. Which, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, Mm -hmm. right? It's what I'm known for, right? Which is, it's creative, right? Mm -hmm. It's a skill, it's a craft, but that's not what it's all about at all and and sometimes you could get lost in that you can mm-hmm. lose the point of right. what you're trying to portray by just trying to come up with a bar that not everybody that's going to go over somebody's head when you want it sometimes you just they just need to understand it the first time right yeah. You get what I'm saying? That's why you said I'm mm-hmm. a shooter. Yeah, right. Yeah. I decorate my emotions and metaphors, tell stories with allegories, so on, so so so, on, so, so forth. So forth yeah. But who give a shit? The long lost lyrics, niggas got rich talking nonsense. Gets yours. Like you're giving a nod to like. You, there's no divide of like. I'm gonna look down on you because you may not be Mr. Super Lyricist if you make something that Correct. impacts the world. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, and that that's another reason why you know I felt like it was uh, important for me to like just take a break, like. You know, I took took a year off from writing and recording all in all. I've been writing every, like, focused on rapping every day since I've been a teenager. 
Wow. You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel that was very important for me to do, like to just set back. I was becoming a critic. Mm. Mm. Like, what the, who, what do I know? Like, <laughs> who am I to tell, like, to say what's whack, really? Like, and I understand, like, mm -hmm. that's cool. Like, that's the culture. Like, ah, oh, you're weak. Like, that's the competitive nature. And it is subjective. I, I am entitled to my opinion. Mm -hmm. But as an artist, though, as an artist, though, not just a listener, mm -hmm. I feel more of a responsibility, especially being older now. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not old, but I'm like right there. Yeah. In between like the the little homie and the big homie. Like right, I'm right in the there. Sweet spot. Man, that's yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> who who am I to these these kids are like who am I to like these are kids, I don't care if I like their music or not. Art is art, right? And these are just young, young kids like trying to make something of themselves, mm -hmm. trying to trying to do something, like doing something creatively. Like, who am I to really judge? And, and I said it, I ain't got no gavel. Hey, didn't I say that before? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not standing on what I'm, I'm not practicing what I'm preaching. Yeah. You know, I found myself getting into that space. So it was important mm -hmm. for me to just step back and, you know, really pay attention, you know? I saw that you tweeted um a couple of weeks ago that you say you damn near died making this album, right? Yeah. God is good. Mm -hmm. How did you stay alive? during that process. Because God is good. Mm. Simple as that. Simple as that. Simple as that. Mm. It's not even though I, I stayed alive because God is good. Mm. I think I made sure I put that in all caps. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. No cap. You feel me? Right. I swear after I, I tweeted, I was like, oh man, this is fucking clickbait. I was so I was so <laughs> serious, but I was so yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? I just battle with that too. Like even yeah. like like I said, like the like the do better video, you know, how, you know, Initially, I'm like, nah, bro, I'm not trying to sell that. Yeah. It's interesting, right? It is mm -hmm. interesting. And and it's even more interesting when, you know, like I said, you know, I'm blessed to be working with my family. I'm working with my bosses. My bosses, my managers are like my family. They're my brothers that I grew up with, mm -hmm. literally. Musa, I went to, is one of my best friends since I, before I met Top Dog. I didn't even know Top was his dad. Mm. Like me and Musa have a different relationship. You get what I'm saying? And and he's been more hands on with the business now. Right? I I, I respect his he he's always gonna give it, you know, give it a hunt, you know, straight up. I, I I just didn't like, but but it's my testimony. A lot of people that reach out to me, the common thing I hear and see is, oh man, you don't you don't even understand, like you saved my life. Mm. And they might they might not mean that literally. But the you know the the sentiment like you you, mm -hmm. you help me like I, I understand I always make sure to say especially when I see people in person that get to get at me that way I say no you saved my life mm. you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying like yeah. it's a it's a it's an exchange like I want the people to know that this is me giving my testimony this is what I do yeah I can tell my story and it, I can't now I can I really may be able to save someone's life for literally because I've been there yeah. You know what I'm saying? I understand. I have a, I have a better understanding of, you know, these things, and you know, is it still tough to record like like a title track, for example, when you let the you know, talk about rehab or depression battles and things like that? Does right. it is it still difficult to get that out? Difficult isn't quite the word. Hmm. Uh, got to be you know, got to be brave for this. For, mm. to, 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 courageous. Yeah. Got to be courageous. Yeah, you got to, yeah. you know, and like I said, man, like God is good, man. I, you know, I, I pray for strength and, mm. you know, I, I I walk as everything in my power to try to do. <laughs> you always got to go better to do better. Mm -hmm. Go back to do better. Mm -hmm. Everything in my power to try to do what God will do, right? Like yeah. that's chasing and that's being, being as open and, and vulnerable as possible. And then once you realize that this is such a a common thing, mm -hmm. people are going through it, bro. Absolutely. People, but you know, people look at online and everybody is smiling though. You look on Instagram and everybody's having a great fucking time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know Where's saying? that party at? Yeah. Positive vibes. Positive, yeah, positive vibes only hashtag. <laughs> yeah, you, you go over to the crib though, right after they took the picture, they and they're depressed as hell. You right. need, need therapy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people, we're, go, we're going through it, especially, especially during, you know, the the time that the we change. just yeah. 
that we just went through, 2020, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Everything changed. So when I realized that, it gives me more strength to hmm. share my testimony so everyone knows that they're not alone for somebody that thinks that, you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of emotions that come with dealing with, you know, depression, anxiety, addiction, mm -hmm. uh, shame, denial, mm -hmm. grief. Or, yeah. yeah. You know, we're all going through it. where everybody know yeah. the majority of the world is going through it. Yeah, you're not alone. You are not alone. Like and, on Positive vibes, you know, yeah. you talk about how 2021 was like your worst year. My worst year. And yeah. I know you lost your friend, uh, Doeberger, you know, rest in peace rest to him. Rest in peace to Doe. You know, how did you like manage and cope with those losses? God is good, man. God I, is I mean, good. I'm in it. I don't think that's something that I'll ever, that I'll ever get over. It's, it's, yeah. I don't even know if I'm, if coping, I don't even know. Mm. But I, but I, what I, what I, this goes back to what I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. you see how we're like, I know this. This is it, and you, you guys as journalists, right? <laughs> sure. I, I was just with a, uh, talking to a, 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 another uh, another one of our guys that uh, I respect. You know what I'm saying? If it bleeds, it leads. True. Shit like that, like uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and like I battle with that, like I'm like how I'm talking about like my my brother, like yeah, yeah. That was kind of like the like in from like I didn't even really know if I could keep doing this without him you get mm -hmm. what I'm saying he was like my eyes like you know my mm -hmm. you know he's the one that watch your step yeah gotcha. he was on stage with me you know people call him like, I think he was just my hype man or hype some man, shit yeah. fuck, fuck that and that, that if you watch the footage he's making sure I don't fall off the stage he's moving me around like mm -hmm. getting lights out of my face like I, and that's just rap stuff mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying that's yeah. just that's just music stuff like and I'm talking about this and I know it's effective, like, and that shit just kind of, I battle with that shit, man. Yeah, like, of course, yeah. But, but it's my testimony. Somebody else went through this too. I respect that. Mm -hmm. I understand that. And so that's where, that's how I find comfort in, in, in sharing that because I, I know people who have, who have lost, took, took losses as big. Right. And it's, it's, it can always be worse. Always, yeah. even when you think, you know, when I think that's it, it's something else that can happen to me worse than that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's ironic because yeah. it's like when you talk about those losses, oh, a lot of people man. when they make it. Got, got me so damn emotional. I'm sorry. Right? No, 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 don't, no, don't apologize. It's, it's, I'm just, you, no, you feel what I'm saying? No, I, battle with, nah. I battle with that shit, man. It's difficult to like sell because I know it's effective, like business wise. You get what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. Like, like, like I said, like Musa, who encouraged me to share my story, it's my brother. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But we're in the music business. Mm -hmm. Like when when he he's been through this, everything mm -hmm. that I'm discussing, mm -hmm. he's cried with me about it. Of course. Yes. And when he hit me, you know, when he hits me, and he's my boss now. <laughs> it's like yo we need to do this like how I hear it like I gotta click in I gotta click to okay I'm talking to my boss now it's not it's not my right. uh, it's not my, my nigga I'm like yo like how I'm gonna sell this bro we was just crying about this and he, he's not saying that he knows that this is your testimony like yeah yeah Liberate yourself, like get it off your chest, and you can do what you do. This is what yeah. people love you for. You, you help people because a song people. like "Book of Soul," a lot of yeah. people cite that as yeah. one of the best Ab Soul <clears throat> songs. And, and I, you get what? Like, I can't listen to it. I've mm -hmm. never, I yeah. never even listened to the Book of Soul for the record. Wow. I did it. You know, the, you know, like I said, my 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 home, my my brothers who are also my my team, my mm -hmm. manager, you know, and said I had to do it. Mm -hmm. I I understood that. I did it. it I I cried like every four bars doing mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I got the fuck up out of there. Mm -hmm. Like real talk. But I, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, God is good, man. I'm I'm standing tall. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm here. I'm alive and well. Well, I saw something too where you yeah. said that we that we have to mention these people that are going. We have to keep them alive yeah. in that sense. And I mean, even you, now, yeah, because if you don't, yeah. they, if you don't say their name after they're gone, they die twice. I don't know where I heard that, but that just sticks with me, man. Mm. Truth. If you don't say their name again after they pass, they die twice. Yeah. And that's just. And, yeah, and me and Beat, I, I just I, lost a good friend, yeah. Hovain. You know, the, the, what, you, see, Hovain we, in, in the business. We all. Yeah. Everybody's going through it. Yeah. That's, yeah. You feel? And yeah. that's why. That's where I get the. 
that's where I get the cur. I, I guess that's yeah. what helps me cope. You know, you yeah. you you guys like aside from this, I I respect I respect you guys. You know, you guys are like masters of y'all craft as well, artists as well, right. which y'all do. Thank and you. I respect even Appreciate off the that. record. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. didn't we didn't chopped it. You yeah. Know? yeah. So y'all that gives me comfort to know that you know my big homies can they can relate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But even the release of the album it has significance, right? The release date. Oh, exactly. Uh, God is good. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> God is good. Uh, December sixteenth is Loriana's birthday. My girl, uh, Lori Joe. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that was beautiful. It, like how it landed on a like like what are the release days? Like aren't they like Fridays, Fridays now? Fr- they're Fridays now. Yeah. Like is, is that not? It's, it's just that's just beautiful. You know right. what I'm saying? And you know, like I'm saying, it, and it, it never goes away. I still, her mom is still my mom. Mm-hmm. Like I, mm-hmm. I still talk to her. Like freak like her family is my family like it never goes away like you never get over those things there's no i don't even think co- coping is even like a it's kind of desensitizing right. to yeah you know what i'm talking mm-hmm. about yeah, yeah. For sure but i feel what you're saying like yeah i love because you- we have to deal we have to keep you have to keep walking you have to get up and keep going or you're gonna or you're not you're either gonna like you're either gonna get sit down and not get up or again or or Get up and and go harder, yeah. right? That those be those defining yeah. moments, right? Yeah. So I love how you eulogized uh, Capital Steez on Joey Badass's project yeah. on Survivor's Guild, and he's also correct. on your album correct. as well. Yeah, correct. Like, was that therapeutic for you just to get that out? Just no, talk about abs- how you guys met. No, absolutely. Like, you know, and that's you know, me and Joey have that. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, same tats, the 47 tattoos. Yeah, the, yeah 47, <laughs> man. I still, and that's okay. How, how I call what they said, they got my phone. Hey, so I'm, like 47 is yeah. our number. We got that from Capital Steez. Capital Steez create, you know, is the big homie over there. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And didn't, I didn't know because it, to the, to the public, it looked like Joey yeah. was the, you, you get what I'm saying? He kind of mm-hmm. was the face of it, mm-hmm. seemingly, right? Mm-hmm. You know? Bro, because you know, and and they and, and these kids are younger than us, and we're we're following them. <laughs> Me and Doe, like getting you know, these kids are are crazy. Like they, they you know, they're man, they they their way of thinking is right. just, was was incredible, yeah. right? So every every day I look at my phone, I, I see forty seven at least two or three times a day. Like I check the time, mm-hmm. and I like oh oh it's three forty seven. What up, Doe? Mm. I I Doe ain't never left me. He hasn't even left me. He's like on my show, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, kid, shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> <laughs> you running late. This nigga Matt finna trip on you, kids. I was gonna say, what, crib. one last thing in vain. I wanna talk, I wanna talk true black boy joy to get us positive again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I never heard nobody happier to be rhyming over a DJ Premier beat. Oh. And that's- <laughs> you was there, yeah. Like, <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Yo, listen, man. It sounded good. Felt good. B, are you feeling me? I'm with you, brother. <laughs> listen. Listen, man. Primo. I always just wanted to say that. Like, mm. Primo. Like, just that alone. Like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, before I was abs, before I even found my, my name, you know what I'm saying? Like, I that was a... That was a bucket list thing, like mm. that had to happen for me. Like, I, I I really love how this album came together, man. It's at the thing, like, this is this I've had th- this this project together, and and it maybe even you know give credit to the the length of time that I had, you know, mm-hmm. um, which you know I appreciate everyone's patience. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I know y'all was getting at me in the comments. <laughs> I know y'all love me, man. That's why y'all was doing it, man. And I love y'all. I appreciate love every- you and hate you and love you again. God damn. <laughs> Don't push me. I'm close to the edge. I'm no rookie. You feel what I'm saying? Who who where where did I get that from? Um Grandmaster uh, Flash? Yeah. Furious Five? Don't push. push. Yeah, yeah, right. It's, yeah. it's all yeah. It's it's hit like and and, mm-hmm. I'm, and you know I'm always trying to restore the feeling. Of course, <laughs> you feel I me? love that feeling of you and Punch man together. Oh man, on Good Man. Don't get me started. They go on. at it every time, that, that man. Why simple, did man. he get? Why? Why did Punch? Yo, why did he go so crazy on that? You guys have great chemistry on tracks together. Oh, bro, like that's Punch and Zordon, man. He's only soul, right? The last album. Oh yeah, yeah. he. I, yeah, he's. 
it's a punch has to, and he usually, usually, you know, when I'm conceptual and mm -hmm. um, in my last attempt, my last effort, it's all classics, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Go get them. Okay. Stream them now. Stream them yeah. now, you know. <laughs> you want my old shit, buy my old album. Um, I, I usually have, he usually like, I get him at the end mm. and let him kind of like summarize the album. Mm. Kind of like how Dot had me do Absol's outro type thing. Yeah. I think I probably got that vein from like, okay, I'm gonna have Punch come in at the end and have him, you know, do a summation of, of what I was trying to do in a verse, right? Mm. And he's great for that. You know, obviously he's one of my, you know, biggest mentors, you know what I'm saying? Who keeps you sharp lyrically? Cause like, <laughs> obviously Punch, you know, he's in the corner. <laughs> no, <but you> <laughs> there is only one. There's only one. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm capping, man. Man, just, a, I'm, a, I'm a student. Mm. I'm, I'm a student, I'm a fan first. Fucking love this shit, man. Like, everybody, I'm, everybody. Right. I'm influenced by everybody, old or new. It was dope to see you um, yeah. during the pandemic. I guess you came out of your hiatus with Russ. On his Chomp project, and you guys did the Tigger, the basement oh, thing. Yeah, and that was the booth back. Brought right? the booth back, right? Yo. It was so good to hear you. Yo, it was crazy because, uh, yeah, shout out to Russ, man. Fucking the young legend. It's, and I'm, I'm going to tell, tell the blood honest truth about Russ. I have to because it's, 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 beautiful. it's poetic because we were just talking about Punch. Mm -hmm. Punch sends me a text uh, like saying, oh, uh, he sends me the record from mm -hmm. Russ. And I kept seeing this kid. Like, I kept seeing him. Russ, Russ, Russ. I keep seeing him. I, have, I never heard him, though. So Punch sent you the text. Punch sent me the text. Uh, the record. Crazy record. He was like, yeah, the kid Russ wants you on this. I said, who, like, who is it? I was, I was like, yo, would, would you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I, have, I have never even heard him. I kept seeing him, though. Yeah. I almost want to say I seen him, like, talking about Primo. Mm. Like I'm like yo, yo, he was like oh yeah, he was like oh yeah, like his hustle is is kind of unmatched. Like his 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 fan base is like you 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 should tap in. Like mm. he on the businesses. I'm like all right, bet. Boom. I chop it up with I get you know I get his line. We chop it up and he tells bro he like sends me these screenshots. He say he and he you know Russ is like that. He's <laughs> real. He's real. He wrote a book. You know Russ is yeah the Did fucking you? young legend. Yeah, real real talk. Um, sends me these old screenshots of these old tweets from like the long-term mentality days <laughs> of him harassing me <laughs> <laughs> to, to, for me to send, like for, to send, send me beats, mm. harassing me. And then I think he even had one like, one, one day I will work with Abso, save this tweet. Mm. Like shit like that. Like, mm. Before we even do the record, and before I even hear him, right. I haven't even heard him yet. Still, mm -hmm. but but I have. Mm. I go look him. I said that, like the way you, Lawson. I'm like that's cuss. <laughs> Hell no. Because I hear the I hear the raps first. Mm -hmm. I hear who won what. That's my first time hearing him ever. Mm. So when I go do the, I'm. I'm 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 like real impressed by the kid, you know, by it, it coming to fruition for him. He's showing me these old tweets. That's that shows dedication, right? Right. I go look him up. I'm like, yo, this guy, this guy's a fucking superstar, <laughs> right? And I've been I've been rocking. We've been rocking to this shit, and I didn't even know it was him. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Russ. The who won what video? He he sends me the treatment. And you know how usually with treatments, it's just kind of like a, a mood board, like mm -hmm. of how they want it to look. So a rich, he, he they on the mood board, it was the basement. Mm. Wow. I call him immediately. I'm like, yeah, bro, like you gonna get Tigger too? He was like, bro, that was just the, I, like that was just the cut. We gotta, yeah, we gotta redo the basement. <laughs> we gotta. He said, bro, what the fuck? I hung up in my face. A week later or whatever, I'm on the I'm on I'm I'm back in the basement. Back in the basement. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, shout out to Russ, man. Shout out to Big Tigger, man. Like, yo, like, oh, uh, it's uh, yeah, so yeah. That was like, a dope like, moment. Yeah, like, I had to, I had to get that on. Uh, am I rambling? Am I no, no, you're not. I'm rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, absolutely not. Yeah, man. I still want to know why Abso can't fuck with Herbert, though. <laughs> that was my boy, King Rich. He's fucking hilarious. Um, 
You said on no report card. Yeah, 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 I had it. I don't know if like on Fallacy, which I told you like one of my favorite records, like King Richard still owes me a million swishes, right? That's like one of my close, like that's the guy I used to like, I, I used to get off of work. Remember this is when I was still driving mm-hmm. in my little Mitsubi in the, yeah, in the bucket, yeah. I get off work, I go get two chocolate swishers, $2 shots of E&J, you feel what I'm saying? Go get me a two for 15 dub sack from the homie. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> mm-hmm. Make that work out of two blunts, <laughs> it's skimpy as hell. I go pull up on Rich and I smoke with him and 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 we bat, we freestyle to death. Mm-hmm. Like y'all can look him up if y'all, we got a song called House of Sin that's out. Like you can hear him rap, he's actually incredible mm-hmm. too. Like, that's, a, that's a whole nother story. But he's, he was one of the guys that I could be my complete self where I didn't have to be cool and like we we laughed and shit and he he knows what it what I did to get here mm. more than it. he he knows how determined I was for this shit like you know so that's that the, the, and everybody every excerpt that you hear it's yeah like, it's really the people who like that though I had them say shit that they would say you know like it, uh-huh. it's it's not it's for this is for everybody that still calls me by my name. Gotcha. And gotcha. will never cut. You don't give a fuck about no apps, old man. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Right. Lil also, Herb. You also said top sponsors your first tat for like $100. Which, which, which tat is that? Is that the- which tattoo does the top pay for? <laughs> and this how I knew. This how I knew I was in. Okay. <laughs> TDE. You got to get a TDE tat? Top tight? Dog Entertainment. The original. Oh, the original logo yeah. on your shoulder. Wow. That's the first one I got. Wow. But now, but now I got more. I got more TDE signia on, <laughs> on me than anybody on, on in the gang i'm mm. i i am the gang right you know <laughs> i am gang and them you, you read for me? the gang you even pulled yeah. up the uh kendrick yeah. in paris I'm the guard dog yeah i'm the guard the guard, dog. guard dog yeah <laughs> you said i did what the I guard put, dog went to paris and pulled up on uh mr morale which which oh what you mean kendrick lamar you go to one of his shows in paris no i did i, I didn't i oh. i went i i um I caught him out here. Oh, that, oh, was in- that show was out here. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha, I caught him gotcha. at the at the uh, Staples. Okay, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Um, yeah, that was a great shot. Everybody was excited to see yeah, you um, together. Uh, that's, man, yeah, my fucking brother, man. Like, I saw when Mr. Morale well, dropped. I don't, I don't even want to get started about, about Kendrick, man. <laughs> it's just, it's just, I get emotional. Like, that's what I'm saying. I, I know what he, I know, I know what it, what it took. Mm. I know what it took. What the he, journey. I know what he did, like, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not tolerating no, I'm not tolerating no disrespect from the homies. Like you, you feel what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not tolerating none of that. So, right. He's he's in my top five, biased or not. Mm, yeah. Jay Z, Nas, Dot. I, they just asked me. Uh, <laughs> they just they just asked me. On, I did I did the Reddit thing. I never did. Yeah. yeah. Um, who's your top five? And I kept top five. Top five. That's the the lists and all this <laughs> shit. Because, list be that list. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Shit, yeah, they were on you about that. They're gonna be on me again in a few weeks or whatever. <laughs> you didn't make any lists? Nah, you took a time off, Ab. Okay, but, okay. But yeah. I think you did oh, get no. I think you I, had I, a I've been gone. I've been yeah, gone. so you yeah, you took a break, so I couldn't include you on the list. But I I think I did make a mention of your your contribution on the Rust songs. So. Right, okay. That's that's cool. Yeah. But you know, I ain't I ain't, you, know, you know what I'm saying? He, it's all good. I, 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 <laughs> that, 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 that's you know what I mean. I got that means you gotta work harder. You know what I'm saying? But, I, but look, but look, all these let look. And I so I did the I did the thing with Reddit, like I was telling yeah. you. I have my top five down because I'm just terrible with favorites. Mm-hmm. Like I really I I it's so many, you know what I mean? I have my top five. It's not gonna it, well, it can change, but Jay Z, Nas, Dot, Wayne, Lupe Fiasco. Mm. In Ooh, that order, that okay. is my top five. That's a strong five. Everything after that will not be I, I can't I can't even do like, but that right there. Just so, just so it's understood, that's how I feel. Favorite song off Mr. Morale? I got mine. <sighs> mine keeps changing. Low key, the intro. Intro. But yeah. when you said that, you know what's the first thing that came to my mind? Mm. Can't please everybody. <laughs> Can't please everybody. <laughs> Can't please everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but low key, the. The dude was saying, black teeth, Oh, it's, he was. I grieve different. I grieve different. I, grieve different. Yeah, I felt crazy. that shit. Bro. I yeah. grieve different. It's powerful. I felt that shit. And what that's what I'm saying. Like, you I said, get, you had the powerful line of your album. He said, I got secrets I'm going to die with. Yeah, no cap. That's no powerful. cap. Yeah. 
you know, you know the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> not a vibe. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm from the hood, man. Yeah, not the rap hood, the real hood. The real hood. <laughs> nah, Was it fun doing the gang nah, gang yeah, vi- yeah. back in the hood? Yeah, the yeah. Car- Carson in the house, man. Delamo, watch your Carson. motherfucking mouth, man. Uh, I mean, listen, I I still, you know, I I still go, you know, I, it, I I don't want nobody to think like I just like. Oh, finally went back I to the hood. Like, yeah. Come on, man. Like, I'm yeah. still, in, come on, man. Like, I'm still outside. Like, you know, yeah. not like that, but like, yeah. you know, I'm, I tap in, you know, I'm tapped in. Yeah. So, uh, but, but it was good that I got to really get. Give them light too. Get, get them light and, 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 and really get all my guys to get a lot of, it was a reunion for a lot of us. Mm. We all been, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause we trying to get to it. Ain't, ain't no time. We've been, we've hung out enough. Right. That was where we was hanging out. Bullshitting, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got to get to it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you keep seeing somebody same person every day, that means you're not going nowhere. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like straight like that. So, and 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 even that, like, L's, right? One, like my one, my one of my, my one of my my homies, uh, fresh man, rest in peace, was in there. Not not the fresh that rap, not short dog, but. One of my homies, he's in the video, mm. you know, boom. He had just like, he hadn't been home a year, like, you know what I'm saying? And I, I got to see him, like, you know, we supposed to, he's like almost family to me, like, you know what I'm saying? But on some, you know, you know, on some, Deli- on, on some gang and everything, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, beyond that with him, so glad I got to see him, like, lost him, like, mm. shortly after that. Wow. Right? Yeah. He hadn't even been home a year, bro. Damn. And then, the same fucking day, my dog dies. Mm. Cash. Mm. That's why you see him. That's why you, the video begins and ends with with cat. My my dog. Wow. Cash. Yo, when when I lost my dog, bro, you got because you got to understand. Like he was there, like during my recovery process. Mm. You know they say, um, you know, having a pet, like kind of it can it can. Uh, Help with that. your mm-hmm. speed up your help or mm-hmm. assist your recovery. Yeah, and I believe that shit was just me and him. Like it was just me and him. Like after that, bro. Like oh my god. Like so I, you know, I'm glad I got to see my man. You know, and I'm glad Cash got to have the mm-hmm. most beautiful fucking dog I've ever seen. The perfect two face. Like <laughs> we used to take him out. Like the like the old. Uh, like the old ladies would be like, "Oh my God, his perfect markings!" Like you can tell, like these are like dog ladies, like yeah. that, like you know, like are very, very critical about their pets and you know get the grooming, you know, on schedule. You know, oh my God, his markings are perfect. Uh, his oh his his coat, you know, most beautiful dog I've ever seen. I, I I thank him so much, man. Uh, man, that's man's best friend that's not i am crying right now about cash right now mm-hmm. so mm. so um thanks to the art anything for the art we got to yeah yeah, yeah. You, sh- you gave a little you gave a lot of yourself on gotta rap you said that was a difficult song to write oh yeah it was difficult hearing saying that you attempted suicide and that yeah. you broke your leg and your teeth and you don't even know why you did it that's what you said lyrically yeah, yeah. um what led you to that moment which moment, writing it or? or Both. Okay. Uh, first of all, I was under the influence. Mm. Uh, I kind of don't, uh, <laughs> I've, I've said, <laughs> I have said publicly uh, everything that I've indulged in. Right. Uh, on on, on uh, one of my biggest songs called Drugs, right? Yeah. Which is an acronym for don't ruin us, God said. Okay, just mm. make that clear. I got that acronym from Lupe too. Shout out my man. Mm-hmm. Um, I was under the influence. I was in a trance. Mm. It was not a, it was not a conscious decision. I was literally, it was literally out of my control. Mm. I I woke up, <laughs> I, I woke up on the ground. Uh, wow. And my friend, <laughs> like. God is good. God is good. <laughs> Simple as that. Yes, uh, gotta rap though. What's, what's very interesting is that is I want to make this clear too. I actually wrote most of the album prior to that. I kind of finished the album before I did that. Okay. Which is very interesting. Hmm. That means that, you know, I think I was in a very vulnerable place, uh, you know, 
do you know due to the i guess the the, the substances mm-hmm. uh, uh, at the time um they served their purpose they they they, they i'm not going to give the substance the yeah. credit but i'm saying it made me as vulnerable and and open as i need as i needed to be got a rap i i did uh, like I kind of like had started it on another record. Like I kind of, I had that got a rap, but really I just got a rap. I knew I wanted to use that. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I had hard. that idea like on another kind of record. But when Primo finally came through, I'm like, oh, this is it. Mm. You feel me? And I had started it. Then I did what I did. Other things, I, I survived. Other things happened. I took other losses. Mm-hmm. And so that's where you hear the hunger. Like that's where you hear yeah, the, yeah. that. So it, it kind of like everything had to happen for me to create this album. Yeah. That's why you know every everything is everything happens. It, it, it's everything happens how everything is as it should be. Right. I, I'm trying to. I, I'm really trying to practice that. Yeah, it seems like you still to have- whom much is given, right? Yeah. Much is tested. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, and I, you know, I'm the black lip hat. Like, I, I call myself the prophet. I call, I call myself all these things. I call myself the god of rap, right? I'm a human being. Poetically, I speak highly. When I step in the booth, yeah, I can, I, I become Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but, and, and that's to empower. Mm-hmm. It's, it's to empower because when people say it, when they recite, cite it, they, they're saying I too. So it's like they get to be as strong. I understand that. You get what I'm saying? Mm. If you rem- if you memorize if you memorize my song, you can be the guy to rap that just got to rap too. Mm. You can be the prophet too if you're saying it. You get what you follow? I got, I got you. And I I I keep that in mind, like just so it's understood. And that's why that was so important for me to do for this album. It's like don't get it twisted. Like, I don't want people to think like I'm on some holier than thou, like yeah. mm-hmm. worship me, like bow to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I am not God. I am not the Messiah. I am not like, I don't want people to really think that that's what I think. Mm. I say it poetically to speak highly of myself, to walk at, to to try to walk as such. What Cause, does, I, Cause that's the goal, right? To right. try. To try. Yeah. yeah. So what does Church on the Move mean? Because I remember when Joey Badass's <laughs> project, you mentioned it, you know, at the end. Church on the Move, man. Church on the Move. Yeah. What does that mean? It seems like you still have the competitive spirit on there. Like you fired some shots off in the verse. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What, what, what shots? Did, what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> it sounded I'm like, interested. what do you mean, B-Dot? You was, it sounded like you were talking to a specific rapper. I, I, want, or person. I, I want names. Who, who, who did you think I was talking about? It sounded like you were talking about Kid Cudi. Did it? It, it did. You, ah. you mentioned a name. And uh, you said a lot of things in the there. great Kid Cudi. Yeah. You, you think I would I would diss Kid Cudi? I don't. <laughs> the great Kid Cudi on a song called "Church on the Move." I mean, peace be unto you. <laughs> Come on, be <laughs> my ears and y'all, 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 and y'all trust this guy with the list. Oh, and all. <laughs> there goes my credibility. No, no, no. No, look, listen. Cudi is a is a term that we use, like you know. Mm. Okay, just for clarity. Uh, cut, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of on some, you know, on some, on some crib mm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Shoo. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, but no. Nah, uh, nah, just I, clearing that up. Clearing that up. Okay. And I, I didn't think about that. To, somebody brought that to my attention afterward. I wasn't about to change it. Nah, Cuddy. Mm. <laughs> you don't want drama? Nah, Cuddy. See, to my but untrained I lo- I, I love Kid Cuddy. Kid Cuddy, let me say this. Yeah. I do have a bone to pick with Kid Cuddy. I, have, I actually haven't met him yet, which is a fucking crime. With me and like not make. Come on, mm-hmm. me and me and Cuddy. Come on, what? Mm-hmm. And he put dot on solo dolo part two, and not me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have a, I got a bone to pick. You got a bone to pick. Fuck with, hey Cuddy. Fuck with me, man. Okay, it's, it's, it's still time, man. We this got time, it, man. That's See, that's the problem. Yeah. My East Coast untrained ears heard <laughs> something it. else. I love it, that's and there why, we go. But see, I, I I get I get how this works. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to play the game now. I, I I need I needed that combo. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's gonna somebody's gonna clickbait the fuck out of that. <laughs> yes, is. Does, is Ab so beefing with? I, I hear the Scott Meskety. <laughs> I see the headline did already. I it, did I pronounce that right? Me- Miss yeah. Cuddy? Oh, yeah. Miss Cuddy, yeah. Miss Cuddy, yeah. yeah. Yo, shout out to Kid Cuddy, man. Like, genius, man. Absolutely. What are some of your favorite lines on this project? Because there's a lot of, 
A lot of hard, clever, ab soul lines. There's definitely no stopping him. Just keeping it a buck. I'm on one. George Washington. Mm. Oh, yeah. I like the Atlanta. You got to earn. And see, t- that's, listen, you know how old that song is? Mm. Why did it land after the finale of the show Atlanta? Of Atlanta. Yeah. You got to understand too, man. Shout out to, uh, Donald Glover, <laughs> my, brother, <laughs> my brother Gambino, man, my, really my brother. Yeah. Like really, um, the last time I saw him, I was in New York. This was years ago. The last time I saw him, he had this like low key jazz lounge situation. He invited like me, SZA, Joey. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it was so intimate, it was so nice. Just a jam session. We was up there freestyling. He was just jamming out, right? We finished the show and you know, he's backstage. It's the last time I seen him literally ever or spoken to him. Holla at me, man. Yo, hey yo, Gambino, holla at me, man. Real talk. He said, Hey yo, he's talking to me and Joey. He's like, man, I'm about to, man, I'm thinking about writing this show, man. Like, I think I got a crazy idea for like a show. You guys ever think about acting? Mm. We was like, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was like, for real? Like, okay, we well, yeah, I think, I think I got a crazy idea for a show. It's the last time I saw him. And the rest is history. Wow. And even Joey is. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Like, yo, acting. this is Unique. ill. Yeah. And I in that I wrote that song so early. Mm. And it land it it landed right at the, the finale of Atlanta. Like that is poetic. Ill, one of the one of my favorite shows, by the way. No, no, uh, no, no, uh, no, no bias at all. Yeah. Like, it's genius. Did y'all did y'all watch the show? Yeah, of course. Yeah. That that goofy, the goofy the goofy movie bust down. Yeah, the, and you said something about that on Twitter one time Cause. about. Oh yeah, I shout shout out to Tevin. Campbell. Shout out Tevin Campbell. Yeah. yeah, and that was before that. Yeah, like yeah. yo, shout out to Tevin Campbell, man. Like, <laughs> got myself in most yo. No, please don't please don't let me. Yeah, I'll check it out on Netflix. Seriously, goofy movie. Yeah, man. Check it out, man. But uh, yeah, that's what everything is as it should be. Yeah. Should had be I dropped hard. had I dropped it in twenty twenty. It wouldn't have had it sense. It would have made sense because yeah. Atlanta was still out, obviously. But now it's so it's like yeah. the timing is like right. It's perfect. It's, it's perfect. Exactly. Perfect timing. Yeah, right. Well, I appreciate Herbert, man. Herbert the album. Herbert the man. Man, I love the cover too, man. He's a little Herbert baby. The man, the man, like not the uh, not the god. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That cover's dope too. Like, was, yeah. did you have to find that? My auntie, you know. Uh, uh, Annie gave me a bowl. My auntie, like you know, she's like my 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 second mom. You mm. know what I'm saying? My mom's sister. Okay. You know what I'm saying um, she keeps everything. Mm. She's a you know she 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 has a scrapbook of everything I've been meant. She's she's my biggest fan, my biggest <laughs> supporter. I let you know she keeps everything. She she's the one that has all our family pictures and all of that. And once I told her what when I found out when I re when I did decided, excuse me, when I decided that I was going to call the album Herbert, she fell in love with it, obviously. Mm -hmm. And she had been saving that picture for something. Like she knew that picture was going to be for something just because of the, like the, the, had the head for, she knew she had been hiding it from me because she knew that was going to be for something. And that was perfect. Like everything is how it should be. Shout out to, shout out to Zay Zay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, shout out to my, my, my entire family and friends that's been, you know, dealing with me through this whole process, man. I've been a mess. You know what I'm saying? I love all of y'all to death. Y'all know who y'all are. Y'all are the reason I'm still here and still kicking. I do it for y'all. And thank you too. You too, thank gentlemen, you, you know. Absolutely. You feel me? Y'all know how, y'all know, you know, off the record, y'all, y'all know how, you know, yes, aside from this music shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I really, you know what I'm saying? Respect what y'all do, period, for the, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate for the, for the it, world, for the world, yes, for the sir. culture. It'll take six more years, I have. <laughs> Yo. Six months on one another album. Six one, months. Give me Let's one go. more. Give me, give me one year challenge. One, one year? year. Ooh, That's okay. My That's my word. What's today? What's today's so date? Out, you close out this year strong, you close out next oh, year strong. Oh, well, well, yeah. yeah. All right. Fourth quarter app. Give me until another December. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll keep maybe I'll keep my December sixteenth. Right. Maybe I maybe we could keep well it's gotta land on a fucking it's gotta, it's Friday. Gotta Friday. Ah, yeah, so. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But yeah, <laughs> give me a year. Yeah, y'all got, you know, y'all can y'all can hold me to Let's that. Let's enjoy it. I, I, I gotta make your next list. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Harvard, yeah. Harvard, Harvard. Yeah, yeah, shout out to E. Yeah, don't turn your top. Don't turn your, your don't uh, top. Yeah, don't turn your top ten albums. Listen, yeah, man. Absol has entered the chat. Yes, sir. I've up entered, in there. Absol has entered the chat. God yeah. damn. Yeah. Thank you, Herbert. Thank you. Thank you, Thank brother. You. It's yes, the Rap Radar Podcast. Yeah. Church on the move, man. Yeah.